So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my very great privilege this evening to welcome to Brussels the Vice President of Iraq, Tariq Al Hashimi. His Excellency Mr. Al Hashimi is one of the most renowned politicians in Iraq, known for his principles of democracy and freedom, known for his work to bring freedom to the beleaguered population of that country. It was his brother who was murdered by the Iranians and that has made Mr. Al Hashimi always extremely frustrated at the growing influence of Iran inside Iraq. He became a fierce critic of Iranian meddling in his country. And that, together with the fact that he was the leading Sunni politician in the Iraqi uh, government of senior politicians, led to the disgraceful situation which arose in December 2011 when 13 of His Excellency's bodyguards were arrested, one of them, aged only 33, was murdered under the torture imposed upon him by Nuri al-Maliki's thugs. Human Rights Watch said that when his body was returned to his family, they could not even recognize their son. Such had been the cruelty of his torture. But based on the evidence that he had been forced to give under torture, false evidence procured under torture, all 12 of the remaining bodyguards of His Excellency Tariq Al Hashimi were sentenced to death last November and are now on death row awaiting execution. This is the appalling injustice that has occurred to one of the leading Democrats who espouses all that we value in Europe as core democratic principles for freedom, democracy, human rights. This is the outrage that has happened in that country where in the past seven months there have been over 5,000 deaths from bombings, terrorist attacks, assassinations, where the country is spiraling again towards civil war, where unemployment is rocketing, where there is still only four hours of electricity a day, where many of the citizens don't have access to fresh running water, where the sewage systems, basic uh, infrastructure of the country has completely broken down and yet the oil wealth which has been restored to Saddam Hussein levels the billions of dollars pouring into that country every day has simply disappeared stolen from the citizens of Iraq and being used in corrupt ways by the Prime Minister and his government this is an outrage to everything we stand for, all the values that we stand for in Europe and in the West. And it is time that this disgraceful situation was exposed. That's why it was important to invite His Excellency Tariq Al Hashimi to come here this evening at considerable personal risk. This is a courageous person of the highest order and that's why I'm so delighted to give the floor to the Vice President of Iraq this evening. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.